Yeah, it's time for a ramble this time on, on Pokemon Indigo League episode 25, Fire Night Goes Bananas. Time has come for my 50th Pokemon Ramble, and I said to do it one of my favorites, I have planned it that way. And it, we open on Oak Lab, so first having breakfast when the phone rings, means that, means that, means Fire Night Goes Bananas, and I talk to Mr. Professor Good Morning. So I was on his bed, but it's for dismay when Gary lets have fire badges and passes out on city. Gary has already also captured 30 Pokemon. Back in mystery of the lighthouse, did Gary release 15 Pokemon at that time? Were the person enjoying Kramer's company even writing poetry? It's common to by the Japanese version and the Pokemon Center Ryu. Professor composed a poem relating to a Pokemon at the end of each episode. As confused by this, Professor Kurtz in a catch of Pokemon. She gets off the phone, Tomoe Rose blows by as the same looks only like a cross between the mystery where I used to live in Cloud Falls. And now, as Ash returns to camp, we get one of the most episode of the infamous Jelly Donut scene. They are clearly, clearly rice balls, as many pointed out. Note, I mean, have you ever gone onto a Dunkin' Krispy Kreme or Tim Hortons seeing those on the shelf? I sure haven't. And this bit even continues throughout the episode. Try making a drinking game out of it, you'll be here before you get to the that Pokemon segment. Anyway, they're only a day away from Silicon City, and, and there's a coach where they catch a Pokemon by Rod and Misty. Then, a Pokemon pops out of the bushes. This is Mankey, a lion that's been one of my favorite fighting types and one of my favorites of the original Morph Team 1 for some time, thanks to this episode. So one of many Pokemon who's good luck for me, being born in the year of the monkey, so help me prosper when the next one comes out in 2016 on my 24th birthday. And Brock then gives him the donut, and, and he loves it. And it's fantastic has it, and Mr. Cosmo just tossing the Pokemon without much thought. Old habits I heard. Then, and Mankey starts to thrash around. You know, not deterred by another donut, he vaults up his head and kicks the crap out of Ash and takes his hat. 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 Team Rocket. Okay, I'm just looking at the situation. Usually with their binoculars, decided to take advantage of it. And this is say Ash is not happy about the hat. This is why, in this is one of my favorite episodes, it just taught me that messing with a man's head is a line you just don't cross. Everyone looks at his hat, even has a backstory. Okay, he won it in a raffle, officially things by Pokemon League, sending about a million postcards to win. And she also apparently entered, and boxing for legs, and said, well, that's too I. This friend just managed to make that hat, as well as its Elgin Leo seasons, a as iconic as Mario's hat and Link's hat. And the stuff of this episode, it's also proof why jokes about hats are proof of just as a sense of humor. Situations where they come out by Timok intervening, one kind of causing more trouble. Nobody, regardless of gender, is safe in Prime Minister's rampage, so we just is thrown face first into a rock. So the reason why this episode is one of my favorites, and the show cartoons over the top is a way to show how it seems to they giving free pants to do whatever they wanted in a good way. As so the thrash continues, Pipe sends Brack blasting off and tries to help. Everyone comes running through the hills. Pipe is definitely worse to run into than Tuscan Raiders. Here's, and today, Timok is digging yet another one of the tree like hole traps. Stanley Yonats has nothing on why the coyote like villains just eat James me out. It's just in the SPH of uh, if we like to cover right on her head. And one of the many unintentionally hilarious villains, Timok, get, get your mind out of the gutter. Now, Prime has Ash cornered in that and he has had enough. Besides, he kept in the battle and got this revisit for Fires of Red Hot Union. My current reviews really hope eventually Union will come out, like I said, come out soon, but for now it's up on Pokemon TV for Charge of Mail and Kickoff Summer. Tony even manages to learn Rage to take on Primeape. Despite all his rage, they are still all just rats in the cage. Because when it's get the hash, Primeape is taken down with one more flamethrower, so he can have it back, as well as new Pokemon. As we tell also the what team up came with a field of prime ape. Ape Ape wishing they had some donuts and presumably have the crap pick out of them. I'm so managed to quite easily send a test of time for me. Give us how I still watch every chance I get. Tame and tape okay, we can let me go check out the video tape on the library. That's why I'm ordering the release of the Indigo League says or the discs out I'll have watched that episode alone. Everything just seemed to click with me and why I love this episode years later and in those days. Animation, where the characters act, the comedy. We managed to take out the calling Pokemon from the games and one of my favorite fighting types used to this day. And it's one of my favorite reasons, but my favorite episode of Kanto and other series just to come on my Kanto Marathon. I'm gonna say watch this one. I can't imagine that I thought Pokemon was gonna taste next time and I look at Pokemon Sensation. See you, Space Cowboy. Mm-hmm.